All right. Hey, today I want to talk to you about exemplary.ai. I had been looking at this tool in AppSumo for a while, and when AppSumo reached out to me and said that I could get access to the tool, I said, sure. Uh, why don't you give me access to it? I can test it out and see if it'll work for some of the use cases uh, that I was thinking of for this specific tool. So they build themselves as an all-in-one content creation tool for video and audio. So, you know, the tool generates summaries. It can put together some reels, transcripts, captions, and I'll show you all these things within the interface. So when you get into exemplary, AI. Let me jump over to the screen here. You're in a dashboard and it shows you all of the different things that you've had transcribed. And so uh, let's say you have a YouTube channel and you go ahead and you transcribe a video. This is what you would get from the tool. This was my particular uh, video that I did, need to make extra money in retirement, try YouTube. And then it just transcribes everything that I said in that video into this document. Now, the interesting thing is it auto-generates, you know, a summary, some reels, some tweets, uh, breaks, breaks it down into chapters, even breaks it down into a blog post and a Q&A. So here's what, what I mean. So the easiest thing to do is just take a look and see all of the various things that it creates from a transcript. So let's start off with a summary. It just gives you this little summary of what uh, the person was talking about. It'll break down things into reels. What I mean by reels is just small little video clips. Now, this is the piece that I wasn't really particularly um, enamored with. I didn't think the reels that it put together were that great. And, you know, I've used a variety of tools that claim that they can do this via AI. I've never been happy with any of them. I've tried some others like Opus Clip and I think another one called Video. It's V-I-D-Y-O. You know, they try to do, an, uh, they do a fairly admirable job, but not great. So the one thing that I like is I can go in and let me just jump out of here. We're not going to save anything here. Um, I can go into the clips section and see it says my clips. I've already created some clips from this, but you can just click create clip and then it gives you an idea of how to do it. But what, what I like to be able to do is go into my transcript and make a clip directly from my transcript. So for instance, if I want to make a clip, I can just start here, grab, go down to wherever I want that clip to end. And you have some choices here um, to make it, to create a clip or a, you can even create a, a story or create a thread for, for Twitter. But in this case, you do create clip and then hit create. And It'll only oh, oh. tackle I think there's a that real section. opportunity for um, older people to uh, become part of the YouTube community and offer their ex expertise and offer their guidance in different niches that they may uh, really know quite a few things about. So you can see that it created this clip. I can make it landscape. I can make it portrait if I want to do a YouTube short, or maybe I'm putting it onto maybe Instagram, for example. Facebook, I think, likes the square format. I don't do much on Facebook. Um, and then you can add subtitling. So you can determine the style of subtitling that you want. When you figure out exactly what it is you want, you can save the clip and generate a downloadable file, which ends up being I believe an mp4 file that gets created from it so it's processing this it's rendering the clip and then it will save it um, after the rendering process is done so that's one way uh, that you can use the tool and so um, i really like that 
It's in the process of rendering. I'm just going to shut this down. We're not going to wait for it to render, but it will render that clip. The other things that it generates for you, like I said, is the summary. It'll generate tweets for you. So based on your uh, YouTube video that you had it transcribe or any video file, doesn't have to be YouTube, uh, it will create these tweets and then you can use these tweets and maybe link your video as well. Even puts hashtags in here uh, that you can use. So it basically does everything for you there. Now, if you have a YouTube, if your YouTube channel, you know, you put up your video and you want to help people uh, find exactly where to go in a video, you can put these chapters. It creates the chapters for uh, the various parts of the video that are important. If you have a blog or you want to make a blog out of it, you can easily do something like this. It's got, it's written in Markdown. So uh, again, it is a very short blog post. This tool, I don't think, I don't think the real forte of the tool is creating blog posts, but it's a good start. So you could bring it into an editor and then uh, fill out the rest of the post if you want to. It also creates this really cool question and answer piece, which I like even better for a blog. So for example, if I did a YouTube video and I wanted to share it on my website, MikeShuey.com, I highly recommend going there, check out my website, sign up for my monthly newsletter while you're at it. But anyway, I would do this. I would take this question and answer piece here. I'd make that the post. I'd go back up. I'd add the chapter piece, and then I would embed my video. And that would be my blog post. So people can come to my website. They're going to see this post. They can immediately figure out where they want to go in the embedded video. And if they're interested, they can uh, read the Q&A and see, uh, just quickly scan through this as well and get more information. And then, of course, I'd use the, tweet, the, the tweets that it created here and go to my Twitter page, and I would add this as well. So it really helps you out if you have a YouTube channel or, you're, or you have a blog and you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel. It'd be a useful tool as well. So now I want to go into the specific use case that I created or I was interested in for using exemplary.ai. One of the things we're dealing with with blogging is, you know, how do we find unique content? I happen to use seowriting.ai to write my articles. Um, I use seowriting.ai. I use Koala Writer. They're my two favorite writers. So I created this article, Master the Basics, How to Care for Your Fly Line. So I, I'm into fly fishing and, you know, the, something that you need to do is take care of your fly line. So I made this article. Now, of course you know, what's going to happen is what are you going to add here that makes your article unique and has some content that other people haven't already written about? This is a very hard to rank for keyword, how to care for your fly line. A lot of articles have been written about it already. So what are you going to do to differentiate your article from other people's? So here we are in ChatGPT. I created a GPT called Content Gap Analyzer. It's meant to analyze blog posts for content gaps and provide detailed reports in the differences. So what I'm going to do is show you what I did here in Exemplary and how I used Exemplary. I went out to YouTube and I found this particular YouTube video called How to Care for Your Fly Line with Tom Rosenbauer. It's had 16,000 views. A lot of people have looked at this. It's fairly new too. It's one year old. So the content um, is really up to date. So what I did is I went to Exemplary and I'll go back to my dashboard here. And I went ahead and had Exemplary create a transcript from this video. Now, the one thing I want to make very, very clear, I do not advocate using this tool to go out, scrape other people's YouTube videos, and then make a blog post from it. 
I just have a problem with that. But I'll show you how I will use this content. The first thing that I'm going to do is I want to go to my content gap analyzer in ChatGPT. And before I do that, I'm going to copy the blog post that I created in SEO writing about how to care for your fly line. So I copied that. Now I'm going to go to the content gap analyzer. I want to analyze my blog post for content gaps. So the first thing my GPT asks me is to provide my blog post. So that's there and I enter that. Now it should ask me to reference a competitor's blog post on a similar topic. And this comparison will help me identify unique themes in the competitor's content and any exclusive information they offer that my post doesn't. So that's why I went into exemplary and got the transcript from this video. I, I'm not looking to try to copy any sections of it. What I want to try to do is compare it to my blog post and see if he talked about any topics that I didn't, because if he did, then I need to make some content sections in my blog post and talk about those. So let's see what happens when we analyze the two pieces of text. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back to my GPT. I'm going to give it the content that it asked for, and we'll see what happens here. Okay, the analyzer is done. What it does is it tells me, it looks at my blog post and it says, you know, the article takes a comprehensive approach. It's got detailed instructions, emphasis on storage and inspection, product recommendations, uh, lubrication and line memory removal. All important things if you're a fly fisherman. I realize a lot of people aren't, but this is the article I chose to do. So now it's looking at the transcript from the YouTube video and it says this person took a more simplistic approach, more laid back, emphasizing that fly lines are generally low maintenance, not high maintenance, which is important. That's a good thing to know. Avoid the use of solvents. This is a unique point in the competitor's post is the caution against solvents like sunscreen and insect repellent, which could damage the fly line. My post has nothing about that, so I need to add that. It says not to use line dressings, so that's important. I should put that in mind. And, you know, he says a less frequent cleaning schedule, so that's probably something that I can put in mind too. And just talk about, you know, just general care is important. So suggestions for my blog, incorporate more minimalist views, discuss the solvent damage, talk about the line dressing debate, talk about cleaning frequency. And if I address those gaps, my blog post will be more comprehensive and nuanced, catering to a wider range of readers. So this is really why I chose um, to use exemplary because even though it's got a lot of great tools in there to do tweets, reels, all of those things, um, I really wanted to try to figure out a way to use a tool like this to come up with more unique blog post content, in which I just showed you it can do that. So let's go ahead and jump over to AppSumo and look at exemplary.ai there. So you can get it for $49. One code is $49. What does that mean? So I'm not going to read through all of this. Obviously, you can go there. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, please note I'm an AppSumo affiliate, so if you do make a purchase, I do make a commission. Just want to make that clear. Plan one, $49. It's for one team member. You can do 200 transcription minutes per month. So, for example, that YouTube video that I had it transcribe was 3 minutes and 20 seconds. My other video that I had it transcribe was 23 minutes. So, you know, right away, I've done 26 minutes of transcription. So that means I have about 174 minutes, minutes left of transcription if I have a plan one. So this is probably plenty if you're a one-person team and you're basically using it like I did for the use case that I put together. 
uh, trying to find unique blog content so you can round out the blog posts that you're writing about your niche. Now, Plan 2 allows you three team members and 500 transcription minutes per month, but it does go up in cost to $98. And then at Plan 3, you can have six team members using it with 800 transcription minutes per month. So that's exemplary.ai. Uh, again, $49 gets you into Plan 1 with 200 transcription minutes. I think if you're a team of one person, I think that's going to be plenty of transcription minutes if you use it like I just showed you. So hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, I hope it gave you some unique ideas on how to use exemplary.ai to uh, help with your blog posts. So until next time, uh, take care.